Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Cydia's new and updated interface. If you launched Cydia in the past day or so, it's probably taken a while to reload the featured page. That's because it's actually, I believe, downloaded some new UI elements, and basically it's given Cydia a nice look in my opinion. If you can't tell already, I'm a pretty fan, pretty big fan of this facelift, just because Cydia has looked so non-iOS 8-ish. It's looked so in the past, iOS 5, 6, 4, whatever. The UI elements on the featured page just haven't been updated, but finally, this update brings a much needed facelift, in my opinion, to the featured page of Cydia and also other areas when you use Cydia. For example, if I go under the upgraded and jailbreaking help, it'll actually look like it should for iOS 7 and 8. It won't be those little dotted lines around the repo depiction pages. It's updated for what I feel it should look for newer firmwares, which is super nice. So, I, like I said before, I'm a huge fan of this update. I just really wanted to make this video to talk about why Cydia looked different. Sark referenced that there would be some changes in the coming days in a blog post on his website, which I will have linked down below in the description. These are the changes that he referenced, and I'm, I mean, all I can say is I'm a huge fan. I just got so tired of Cydia looking the same, and I'm so happy that it looks a little bit different than before. Now, granted, this is only a design update. There are literally no new changes here as you don't actually have to update the Cydia package to get these changes. You just have to launch up Cydia. The feature, featured page will take a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, a couple seconds longer than usual to load and then you'll get the new changes automatically. Really nice that users didn't actually have to do anything to receive these much needed UI changes. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.